and sir you also yes. have worked on the oil rigs so i just only heard about oil rigs i don't have much knowledge i just know that they are uh, uh, taking out oil from the sea so first is what is the work of an engineer over there and second thing is how much do they pay as a engineer in the oil rigs and total how many people are there on the oil rig it is totally it is not concerned with the shipping it is totally offshore engineer offshore washing engineering offshore engineering for years course is there you can go in the oil rigs or something it is not uh, related to the marine engineering but what happened in the due course of time the oil from the land are getting exhausted like dubai so when the land oil which is preserved for 150 years or something which is being used it has been dragged extracted and the oil reserves are becoming minimal so what they do okay i go a little further inside then they have to reach the shore where in the shore they have to dig out they have to dig out the uh, by rigging oil platforms okay which are stationary in the seabed by rising and all this thing they have extracted uh, the oil which are below the seabed now consider if you go further and further the sea is becoming deeper and deeper 500 meters 1 kilometer 900 kilometers i cannot put my leg on i cannot have 800 or 9 meters legs to stand upon and uh, do my to do my uh, offloading of i mean production of oil so in that where the vlcc or ulc they converted vlcc or ulcc are used to produce oil and that is that is not going to sail but it uh, equipments are there everything capable of producing so what they convert that i have transferred we bought a vessel for 16 million dollars converted to fpso floating production storage offloading and about 250 million about about uh, 10 15 times costlier and they have made one more deck and they convert them that those ships which go on the floating about 50 60 or 100 kilometers into the sea station there put their uh, oil rigs that's called tarret right from there about 17 18 types of pipes each pipe is humongous uh, sizes very large sizes 17 inches 20 inches 24 inches big big lines will be going so about 10 15 going there go to the seabed one they like uh, bore they pump in water they take out that 180 bar pressure take out that oil along with the gas comes so that that functions that ship functions as producing oil and gas which is called fpso i was there in this we i was the conversion capital singapore <laughs> took the vessel in brazilian capital then we put that yeah that is the one which is called as fps and the pay is excellent of course it depends depends on the racism i was i was getting about 450 dollars per day whereas where i am relieving the maintenance of friend he used to get 900 dollars per day double the salary we used to drop from i have to fly from chennai to mumbai mumbai to frankfurt frankfurt to uh, sao paulo sao paulo to rio de janeiro rio de janeiro to ship by helicopter where i will be dropped in the same time the reliever the british fellow yeah so basically you are getting 450 dollars per day so per month it is that around time, that, time. that time in 2003 2004 okay. and there is a company was lumberjack nigeria I, i i was offered even 20000 dollars per month then like that if you if you look into the thing lng chief engineers now they are trying 18 to 20000 dollars a month because they have the they should have combined ticket steam steam <coughs> nowadays it is all run by trifuel engine gas hfo and uh, mdo mdo so so those ships are even become ic engines previously all lngs are steam vessels because the fuel is which is extracted 
from the FPSO is uh, drawn from outside. Nine, 99, 92% they will export it. 2% will go for the flat. 2% will go for the engine room boiler consumption, which is called boil off. And the fuel consumption becomes zero cost. So the steamships, the boiler used to take that gas and fire, use that steam to drive all these pumps and everything. The steam engine is converted. So those uh, adult LNG ships are working on those places. Nowadays, it is tri-fuel engine, which is diesel engine, IC. Okay. So, sir, what are the role of an engineer on an oil rig and how you joined as an officer on the oil rigs? Most of uh, my experience, especially on oil rigs, are very few. I have, I have taken the, the final session of the risk in the format of FPS. Though oil production from the land after finishing it gone to the shore and after the shore it has gone to the deep sea. So my involvement in the offshore is through the FPS so combining the maritime, marine way of doing. So there I involved. But any engineer if today so want to join, he can join, right? If anybody wants to join offshore, they have to do a course OPITO. OPITO. O -P -I -T -O -O. Like uh, whatever the course, that, that is the one which is worldwide recognized. They'll get a, to get a job in offshore. There are plenty in there. There are rougher boards, there are engineers, excavators, testers, and all hydraulic engineers. So many are there. That's a different, it's not. It's not a marine way of doing. It is a, there's a industry which is on, not on, on, on above the above the sea. It is a land structure above the sea. So that has got nothing to do the maritime, but FPSO is totally in conjunction with 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 the with the vessel or the ship. Usually, how many people used to be there on the oil rigs? About three times or the four times of the normal VLCC. Okay, and safe planning around 2025 in the VLCC or ULCC. There will be because there is one more deck built above the main deck. It's called top side. They have the compressors, huge compressors, huge uh, uh, separation mixtures because they are going to pump in high pressure, 20 inches pipe, high pressure water down about one kilometer, then seabed, push the push the oil, the oil has to come on board, then they store it, separation, separating between oil and the water, separating uh, oil and gas. So many things are there, and there is a top side, oh my, it, it is uh, three times, <laughs> three or four times the, 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 the what do you call, safe man, man, manning is required for FPS. And they have similar engine room and similar machinery that we have on normal yes, VLCC. And everything is same, but no main engine. Okay, no main engine. And that ship the cannot purpose, move also. They, they, they will remove that uh, propeller and uh, propeller shaft or something. 